Welcome back to the channel. We're in our small greenhouse that we are heating DIY style with compost. We're blowing hot air with this solar powered fan running off that small solar panel, pumping air through there, which we've got our tubing vented through our pile in order to pick up heat from that. I wanna check our pile temp that's sitting in here, sitting about 115, 116 degrees right now. It is nice and warm in this greenhouse because we have all these systems running in order to put that heat off into our greenhouse and we took our shade cloth off in order to bring all of those sun rays through and not filter any of that light for the winter time here. And that brings me to the back and forth of all these temperatures we have. It's up and down with us lately. This is the hardest time to keep your plants alive because if you're preparing for cold and you get a hot sunny day, we've still got our little window actuator in here because I don't want this to get cooked and I don't want to break this by freezing it, but it's very important that I vent this little greenhouse in order to not cook our plants. Same thing with our large greenhouse. We have two vent windows that we still have attached in order to vent all of the heat when it gets hot and sunny, and it might be above freezing out during the winter, during mild winter days, we could see high temperatures in our greenhouse of 100 degrees and that could cook everything. It's such an extreme. So venting is very, very important. So having all of these sprouts and all of this life coming up, all these transplants to go out, it's awesome to be able to have those off of an autonomous system without plugging any electricity in in here. We have no electricity ran out here. The only thing we're using is solar power to run our systems. We have a small solar panel up there and one outside our greenhouse running our water pump. I just want to run outside real quick and take a look at our pile because we've amassed about two cubic yards. So coming over to the compost pile here, we've got about two cubic yards of material. We had thrown a bunch of leaves on top to basically insulate this pile we threw our tarp back on and it is cooking hot and it's insulated from the cold because the cold really draws off these piles i would like to get some straw bales to put around this to kind of insulate it even more and around the other side of this little greenhouse we have our fence and our pile i had left this fencing open to the sun and kind of just packed it with leaves because it will gradually share heat with the sun on a hot day and slowly push heat into our pile without letting too much heat out these leaves are pretty thick in there on the side of the pile everything else is pretty well cinched up with our tarp so it's all good to go we are going to build that pile back up one more time or else we might not get that pile to stay hot all winter if we don't have it the right size and insulated properly in order to hold that heat and quit exchanging it with the outside and just exchange it with our systems and the ground right outside our greenhouse here. So if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Drop them in the comments below if anybody has any suggestions or ideas for us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button while you're at it. I want to thank everybody for watching and sharing all of this content we're putting on here. We are learning a lot just by experiencing experimenting and we wanted to share everything we're finding.